rental. It was actually a formal rental. It wasn't a rental only. It was a sales only copy. The tape the label back down because it was stealing. Unfortunately. But it takes an overall decent position. There's some of those rental stickers, of course. Honey K's video. There's a rental store in my state. I think it was only available in my state. Rental stickers were known for putting all the stickers on the side of the tape and all that. Nine rewinds. Yep, it even says on the blackboard. It's not only not intended for rental. Of course, I got this at a Tommy Cruz rental store. That was closing. They were all closing in 2006 and 2000. And I walked out. The Witch Mountain spawned some sequels and spinoffs, like Return from the Witch Mountain in 1978, and Race to Witch Mountain, which just came out. So that was another one of the early Walt well, Disney home video releases. And it mentions the Academy Award it got for Best Visual Effects. I know it got back in 07. I'd have to check my older videos. Hold it. I'm really to find that. Ah! Yeah. Alright, here's a very important Disney video for any Disney video collector. The original video release of Dumbo, the first Disney animated classic that was released on home video. Here's the story. Dumbo was released on home video in June 1981, but for rental only. This is after the whole photo thing. The Disney started releasing more titles. In the summer of 1981, there were tons of others like Gus and David Crockett and the River Pirates and Darby O'Gill and the Little People. But Dumbo was only available for rental only. Because you know, Walt Disney himself never wanted to show his name, but called it in London. He had free re-release so they could make revenue at the box office and get an opening season very quickly with the big one project. They might snap each other now. And Dumbo made an exception. He started the film down the left for an hour and showed it on television, on the Disney Land television series. I think it kicked off the second season in 1955. So this is why Dumbo was the And this is thing about Dumbo is it always stayed in front. The number went down in the very high. I think the 2006 the Top Edition DVD. And this tape has a print date. August 30th, 1983. So I'm assuming that the tape will have more pieces of the camera at the end. Which you can look up on YouTube. You should find it easily. I've got a copy of this on beta. Pretty much the same exact thing. Same label and all. Different printers. October 9th, 1983. Dumbo is one of my all-time favorite Disney films. Probably because the top five on my best to worst Disney list are the Golden Age Disney films. You know, the film Snow White to Bambi, 1937 to 1942. Dumbo ranks at number three. I think it's a wonderful film in terms of the storytelling. And, you know, the Dumbo is probably the only silent uh, main character in a Disney film. What's the beta? I also have the chest. I'm gonna tell you something. This is not easy to get. The beta copies were easy for me to get. Not the VHS. I lost so many auctions on eBay. And you know, the auctions, you know, they went up to like twenty to thirty dollars. One of them the reserve was not met. 
I finally got one for $20.50. This was way back in the spring of 2006. And it's one of the holy grail. <laughs> 